Yes, I just love it when the accessories overlap the hair. Yes. Love it. She's talking about a um fucking dress up game. This that's part what isn't doing. gonna be Uh it is now. God. In case I decide to put it in there. We're just grinding. It's not like it's... I don't need to pay attention. I don't play video games. I'm doing all of, like, the actual game work in she these is, games. She is, yeah. She's clicking every single button. I'm clicking zero buttons. I'm just doing voices. What, can we start our job now? Our yes. new job at the Noble House? Aww! Aww. That's cute. I like that better than the old maid outfit. Yeah, it's less trashy. Yeah, exactly. And then you get a little a little tiara thing, which looks like a doily. Yeah. It's like you just like took a doily from one of the end tables and just stuck it on your head. Because you're crafty. I'm sent to the Zendor Villa today. This is my first time cleaning such a prestigious home, but since I knew Tim, I don't expect it will be too odd. When I get to the villa, I notice that it has received extensive landscaping. Flowers and trees now surround the grounds, and the fountain is flowing. A lot of work has been done by me. I chuckle to myself, thinking about how much Tim must have screwed up the landscaper's work. I enter the house and am greeted by the head housekeeper. She shows me around the expensive estate, and I look for Tim eagerly. Unfortunately, I do not find her by the end of the tour. I am put to work. Several hours later, I resign to the fact that Tim probably isn't. Work is suddenly more boring. I tread down the stairs to fill my bucket with more, and then I hear Tim's lovely laughter. Tim's lovely laughter. <laughs> I rush down the stairs and turn the corner. I see her. But is she hanging on to a man? A disgusting, gross oh, man. Oh, ugh. This man is so ugly, I want to vom. She smiles coyly as he teases her. Are they flirt? Is this the cousins thing all over again? Where they're like interrupt or ignore? I should probably interrupt. I walk right up to her, forget these made noble taboos, and salute her just as she did to me once. Tim, I didn't know if you'd show up. Who do you think you are? This is Miss Zendor to you. <laughs> That's the most normal voice you've done. <laughs> Pins on me face! Is that you? It is you! <laughs> but why are you dressed by as a common name? That pause was so long because she was just like leaning in like, Is that Ew. you? Yeah! Are you kidding? This is the uniform of the best maid in the universe. It's a badge of honor. She giggles <laughs> and it makes me smile. The man on her arm did not seem pleased, however. He's like, oh! Mm. Dumpling, do you, would you mind introducing <laughs> me? Oh! Oh, yes. She worked on the villa for me and saved my life on occasion. Several, actually. Mm. Is that so? <laughs> he eyed me suspiciously. I was really starting to hate this fuckhead. It's a hobby of mine. Piss on me face! This is Lamb, my fiancé. Fiancé? Fiancé? I burst out laughing. <laughs> ah. Falling over at my hips and tear... Okay. Excuse me? What is so funny? <laughs> I try to speak, but I'm just laughing too damn hard. <laughs> this guy is way too ugly and old for her. Ha <laughs> ha! There's no way she loved him. Ha ha ha! Let alone liked him. Tim was starting to crack a smile, too. Dumpling? Oh, hush, Lamb. We just had an in-flight joke we just remembered. It's about how fat and ugly you are. Isn't that right? I try to catch my breath and wipe the tears from my eyes. Uh, yeah, yes, inside joke. Tim shuffles Lamb away, giving me one last look over her shoulder. After they're gone, I come to terms with what I just heard. No amount of laughter will make it not true. 
Why would she ever agree to marry that ugly, spoiled prince? Maybe because he's a fucking prince. Why would that beautiful, spoiled princess ever agree to marry a prince? Why are all these girls so fucking shitty and in infusions? I don't know. What is this? I'm mad at them. Learn how to make it. Learn how to just brew yourself some chamomile tea or I like whatever. how sometimes their eyes are not the color that their eyes yeah, are. Yeah! Like, especially with the elf girl, like, when they were just gray. They were just, like, skin color. They just forgot to color the eyes. Yeah. Those are, like, red there, and it's kind of like, that's are they not... No, I think like they're brown. Just... Yeah, that's weird. Whatever they are, they're not her eye color. I didn't read any of that. So it, I don't know It didn't what to have do. an event thing, so it probably doesn't affect... Oh, okay. Um, be in the kitchen. Okay, I'm working at the Zendor Villa again. My chest ached when I received order to go there, but I didn't know why. Perhaps it had something to do with how I kept repeating the encounter with Tim and Lamb in my head. Great names. <laughs> I do not find Tim immediately, just like last time. Apparently, she's having tea in the garden. I volunteer to be one of the maids to bring out the tea to them. I really want to see her again. Once I have the tea, I like I how the garden looks. There's the forest. forest. It's literally just the forest. CG. Outside my house, yeah. I walk outside in the fabulous gardens and find a group of rich-looking people sitting around to expensive furniture. In the forest, I immediately recognize that Lamb is sitting next to Tim, and the cups on my tray clink when I stop. I also notice two pairs of elder couples, two elves and two humans. These were their parents. Slowly, I work up the strength to approach them again. I set the tea on the table, and I expect Tim to recognize me, but she doesn't. No one ever looks at the hired help, it seems. I felt a pinch in my gut from being reminded just how much we are in two different worlds. I stand to the side of the garden and wait as I was told. So, <laughs> we agree to hold the sim ceremony in a few months? By the waterfall? The one waterfall? Yes. That will be the most beautiful place to exchange vows. <laughs> she's she's foreign. She's otherwise foreign. They're talking about the wedding. Oh, why did I have to volunteer to serve the tea? This is already feeling like torture. That, her mom appears in another. Oh, cool. Route. Yeah. He looks back at Tim, who's staring deeply into her tea. Tim? Yes, Papa? Why the fuck did you stop the music? <laughs> Put another CD in. Are you fine with the wedding in front of the waterfall? Oh, yes, I'm fine. She immediately looks away again, as if she couldn't be bothered. But a wedding is supposed to be exciting for the bride. Tim is not in love with Lamb. No, really. My heart beats faster at the realization. She may be engaged to him, but she doesn't love him. Nobles often marry for money or status rather than for love. It's making so much sense now. But whether she loves him or not, she's still going to marry him. Um, I think I should take action. But we'll save. save. It, we'll yeah, save. but that's what I want to do first. I fan myself, glaring down at Tim and her little husband. Mm -hmm. He's not very little. I notice Lamb's eyes travel away from Tim and to the backside of another maid as she freshens up their tea. Naughty man. His eyes are already drifting. But she's a hot elven babe, I and you're gross. I conceive of a plan to oust Lamb as a not-fit husband for Tim by showing everyone just how wandering his eye can get. In this heat, no one would question me unbuttoning the top few buttons of my blouse. Now I am irresistible. Same. I like your cosplay. I like your cosplay. I trade places with the other maid to freshen up each person's tea. I take the pitcher and walk around to fill the cups. They ignore me, just as before. I'm way beneath them, and not worth their time. I get to Tim, however, and despite my effort to not get her attention, she notices me. Piss on me face! She whispers my name as I lean over pouring her tea. I see her eyes go up and down the length of my body, and my cheeks seem to flush. My bait caught the wrong fish. I'm working. We can talk later. She almost smiles, embarrassed by how loosely I'm dressed, probably. Her eyes follow me even as I go to leave to go to my actual target. 
I finally reach Lamb and bend over to serve him his tea. I make sure to make myself extra appetizing. Fortunately, it doesn't take much work. I have his full attention. He whispers to me. Hello there. You're the new <laughs> maid. Like what you see? He grins a crooked grin. A <laughs> <laughs> Continue. And I feel like vomiting. But I manage to keep my act up long enough to turn around. As I do, I feel a hand where it doesn't belong, and I squeal extra loud. Eee! All of the wedding chatter stops, and the nobles look over at me. Lamb! Tim is standing up and angry. She must have seen. You always do this. You're always awkward and petting other girls. You are my fiancé. Does that mean nothing to you? Calm down. Oh, wait. Calm down, dear. What happened? Lord Lamb touched me. I try... Oh, sorry. Lord Lamb touched me. I try to say it in an innocent manner, though I am not so innocent, it seems. She's lying. Who do you believe? A maid or me? I saw you! Tim runs away, crying. I didn't want to hurt her, but staying married to this man would hurt her a whole lot more. Everyone out. I would like a word with Lamb. I curtsy. So her. you've been looking at other girls <laughs> further than my daughter, huh? What, is she not good enough for you? Huh? 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 Do I have to get my bodyguards to beat you up? Instead, she's disappeared, but I am happy with uncovering the real lamb in front of their families. Hopefully, they'll all gain an ounce of sense and break off this stupid marriage. Ha ha ha, I'm so cute. Grind, 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 grind. Team grinding. T E E N T R I N D I N G. You're not an elf. <laughs> you don't get to have a stupid accent. <laughs> oh, is that how that works? Yeah, elves have stupid accents. I'm sent to work at the Zendor estate once more. Perhaps this time I can truly convince Tim or her family that this marriage is wrong in every way. Tim deserves someone better than that. She, she deserves someone who could take care of her, or at least care about her, period. I care so much about her periods. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of turns me on. I thought it was pretty fucked up, but I mean, Tim seemed to be it, so I mean, I laugh, thinking about all the trouble she's gotten me into. <laughs> Just caressing this dude's arm. <laughs> she needed someone to save her from herself, too. Lamb is not the person to do it. Picking his nose. As I walk to the villa, the sky darkens, and I fear that if I don't get there soon, I will be rained upon. I run to the estate and go up to the gate. Thunder, symbolically, cracks through the sky. I'm here! Please open the gate! I call to the guards on the other side, but they remain stoic. Are you deaf? Open the gate! Oh. Lord and Lady Zendor no longer require your services! Uh-uh-uh! I, the... <laughs> I rattle the bars of the gate. No, impossible. Open up. I built this house. I deserve to be let in. I demand to speak with someone. They remain silent. Why wouldn't they answer me? Am I never going to see Tim again? My heart suddenly jolted, and I feel a raindrop hit my cheek. The sky begins to cry, and I stand silently, peering through the bars at the fancy villa. I turn to leave. Footsteps suddenly patter against the cobblestone behind me. Piss on me face! <laughs> I spin around and see Tim clasping the bars, her hair and clothes soaked from the rain. I can kind of see her boobs through the shirt, because it's like kind of wet. It's, it's nice. <laughs> her eyes are full of pain. Tim! I run back to the gate, and I see every droplet stuck to her bodacious body. I feel a strange magnetism, almost like... I am so sorry. My father, he's fired almost all of the servants. But why? You needed me before. Why not now? 
Why can't I come in? Why did you stop the music again? Jesus Christ, Tim. I just really don't like it. She it's looks very down. Distracting. She looks down briefly, a raindrop sliding down her nose. To save money for my marriage, I no longer requ I require a large Where the fuck did you get those words from? <laughs> I can't believe it. Your wedding is still on? Yes. I see her swallow and look away. And that's what you want? Her head lowers even more. It's almost halfway to my dick now. Yes. Don't believe her. It's just in case. Okay. But I don't think you're supposed to believe her. I knew this was because of the wedding. I knew it was because of what I did at tea last time. They were going to help Lamb's problem by just removing all the eye candy. They didn't care that she, he was still going to marry Tim and treat her like garbage. This had nothing to do with a dowry. You're lying! She looks up suddenly and locks eyes with me. And it's for some reason smart. Gods, can you leave us? I will deal with her. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me just unbutton my blouse again. They hesitate, but then leave the gate completely. I am alone with Tim, being pelted by rain. I can kind of see through your shirts. It's nice. Same. You too, babe. <laughs> she doesn't say anything for a while, just grips the bars tighter. Just like, but like really, really tight. <laughs> like starts to make dents <sighs> in them. Like they crumple a little. I'm right, aren't I? Yes. My heart leaps at her finally admitting the truth. She didn't want to marry him. I was right. You know that you're not forced to marry him, right? All you have to do is say the word and it's over, right? She nods solemnly. I pounce the rain-slicked gate. Then why? Why are you marrying him? Her lips tremble as if she wants to speak, but she can't. <coughs> it turns out she was just holding back a sneeze. Why am I not allowed inside? Because there's... She struggles to speak as if she is crying. The rain has done an amazing job covering up both of our tears. There's someone else I want to marry. My heart stops. Who? You! She openly sobs after shaking the gate. My body goes numb from her confession. Me? Tim wants to marry me? But I I'm a commoner. And, and a girl! girl! And... And that's why her father won't let me inside. My heart feels like it's breaking watching Tim cry. Tim, she's so beautiful. And lumpy. <laughs> she's not <laughs> lumpy! Don't you talk to my girlfriend like that! Jesus Christ, Katie! She's it's, so I'm beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm just really protecting she's my so, own. She's... I just feel like when I look in the mirror, no, I'm just like, no, oh, so no, lumpy. No, no, she's so beautiful. That's what I've been feeling every time I saw her. I've been attracted to her. And when I want to protect her, I'm... I'm loving her. ba da ba ba, -ba. <laughs> I'm loving her. I reach my hand through the gate, her eyes now opening to pour stri... What the... What? <laughs> she just, like, her tears go into your eyes. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Yes. Her sobs slow. My hand grazes her wet cheek, and she reaches up to touch it. Slowly... Our hands drift closer to the gate and towards each other. The bars are wide enough to... What am I doing? I want to... I feel the heat of her boobies very close to my hand. Tim wants to marry me. Me. And I... Tim, you step away from that gate this instant! We suddenly pull apart at the sound of her father's voice. All of my nerves are shot. I'm so sorry. She breaks away from the gate and runs back towards the villa, but not before I cop a feel on her sick boobies. <laughs> I follow her with my eyes, and then her father glare, find her father glaring at me. They all disappear, and the guards return, threatening me. I finally leave, though mindlessly. I had no idea that such a silly girl should make me feel this way, and I never thought I could make someone feel the same. I need to save her from this marriage. I'm the only one who can. Da -da. Let me continue to work as a maid. Okay, man, I bet this room would be so different if you were, like, a noblewoman and stuff. Yeah. I don't understand why that elf girl did this. T Our social classes didn't seem to bother me anymore. Yes, she's nobility, and yes, I'm a commoner, but love doesn't know that or care. 
As I walk home, I notice someone I did not expect to see around these parts. Riella, Tim's mother. What is she doing here? She looks shady, looking over her shoulder and darting through the street. Of course I follow her. She winds through the alleyways and makes her way to a lone door. She knocks. Who is she visiting? Soon the door pops open, and a handsome bard appears in the doorway. He whisks her into his arms and kisses her. Riella is having an affair. I'm going to write about it on my blog. Not here, love. Someone might see. They step inside and the lights go out. I wait patiently for her to come back out. Eventually, she does. She places her hood back over her head and checks to see if the coast is clear. I step out in front of her and surprise her. Lady Zendor. Who are... You're that maid! What do you want? Hmm. I don't know. Let's save. <laughs> I just caressed her mom's lumpy yeah, her face. Mom's, her mom's... Her mom's <laughs> lumpy face. Her mom's face is kind of lumpy. Um, so I guess we'll try confronting her. First. Are you having an affair behind your husband's back? You should at least be a little more sneaky. I caught you very easily. She's suddenly very fe fearful. Her eyes begin to water. No, you don't understand! She speaks a bit too loud and moves us to an alleyway to say her mind. That man you saw, he's not just my lover, he's my love! I love him, and I've loved him since I was a young girl! The fucking music just cuts out. Like, everyone turns towards her like, What the fuck? When I was so sad, he'd find me and sing me songs to cheer me up. I wanted to marry him more than any girl could ever want to marry someone. But I was engaged to my husband, Lord Zandor. Everything's starting to fall into place now. I, I was forced to marry him and my love was left behind in Triburg. I've only been able to see him every so often and it kills me. And now that I've convinced my husband to move to Triburg, we can finally be together. So you have it wrong. I'm not merely cheating on my husband. I'm trying to live the life I was never allowed to live. She turns her face away and tears stream down her cheeks. Tears streaming down your face. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone. If it means that much to you, I won't. But please... Isn't there anything you can do about Tim's marriage? Can't I at least see her? Wow, that hurt my throat a lot. Rihanna manages to w smile while wiping her eyes. She loves you very much, you know. I go rigid, not expecting that. I wish there was something I could do. But know that you and Tim will have my full support. But I must go now, or my husband will suspect something. She rushes away. And so do my hopes that she would fix anything. Perhaps she's just as helpless as Tim in this case. Again, it's up to me. God, I have to do fucking everything around here. The Triburg Arena had been assembled in the town square. It has drawn quite a large crowd today, and I suddenly remember that it's the yearly tournament. All of the city's nobles would be in attendance, including the Zendors. <sighs> I need to get into that tournament. I make my way into the arena, and I spot the royal stands. When I get closer, I definitely recognize the Zendors, and more importantly, Tim. She's watching the fights below, but with little interest. I don't see Lamb anywhere, however. I grow hopeful that their marriage is finally over. Hear ye, hear ye. Lord Zendor wishes to make an announcement. Tim's father stands and waves to the crowd. What is he going to say? Thank you, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. I wish to thank all of the citizens of Triborg for their warm welcome to the city. Furthermore, I have exciting news that should interest you. Today, we will be announcing the my daughter's betrothal to one of Triborg's very own. Hopefully this marriage will concrete our relationship with your flying city. So now, without further ado, please meet my Tim's fiancé. 
My heart slams against my chest as he waves to the field. Who? Lord Lamb of Twyburg! Oh, Lamb steps onto the field, waving. The crowd applauds and my heart sinks into the abyss. I look up to see that Tim and her mother are both very sad looking. How could a father do this to his family? How could Tim do that to herself? Speak up. Say something, please! It is an honor, my lord. <laughs> I fucking normal ass voice. <laughs> I shall smite this next enemy in dedication of your lovely daughter. Lamb raised his sword in preparation for battle. Challenge oh, Lamb! Fuck yeah! Before a challenger appears before Lamb, I run onto the field and stand across from him. The audience mutters in confusion. <laughs> you, what are you doing here? You're just a servant. Wrong. Oh, this is so great, because I was the generals and I had all that training in combat? Yeah! I'm your next opponent. What is the meaning of this? Why is this woman on the field? Guards! <laughs> no. I shall fight her. It will be easy. And my pleasure. My pleasure! <laughs> I scoff at his cockiness. <laughs> we'll see. I already see. And I see you crying home to your pauper mother. Um, excuse you, but I never had a mom. <laughs> I was adopted, and my dad is a general, so, so F off. If you think it'll be that easy, then let's make a bet. If you win, I'll disappear forever. But if I win, you have to break off your marriage to Tim. Ooh. The crowd murmurs even louder. They're kind of just talking now. Ah. I look up into the stands and see Tim looking at me with distress. She sees me make contact sure looks distressful. and smiles okay. softly. I'm going to save you, Tim. Don't worry. Lord Zendor, do you condone this? He's just so questioning <laughs> everything. Are you? I look over at her father, and he is glaring at me. I do. Oh, Lord Zendor. It's all so sudden. I didn't know how to interpret it. If he was hoping I would lose and disappear forever, or if he finally wanted to give his daughter another chance at happiness. Either way, Lamb and I prepare for battle. I stare him down, waiting for the starting bell. I prepare my demon magic. Suddenly, Lamb charges at me even though the starting bell did not ring. The crowd gasps in surprise, <gasps> but I am able to dodge out of the way just in time. Whoosh! He's slow and graceless, so it's easy to dodge and deflect his next few swings. Die, demon. He takes a big swing at me, but I shoot my dark magic at him. Like swords, they pierce him, and he's knocked to the ground. The crowd cheers as Lamb lies unconscious on the ground. Yay! Fuck that guy! I eventually let myself smile, and I look up to see Tim smiling at me, tears in her eyes. I drop everything and run to the edge of the stands. Piss on me face! <laughs> That's never not funny. <laughs> I've won! You are free of that man, and can marry whomever you choose. Who do you choose, Tim? You! Piss on me face! You! She climbs over the edge of the stand and looks like she's going to jump down. I open my arms to welcome her. She slips off the edge and down into my arms. She we just, spin like, around. falls and completely <laughs> miss. We spin around, laughing. <laughs> 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 The weapons rack nearly falls over, <laughs> and dominoes onto nearby displays, creating a cascading wave of destruction throughout the whole arena. Same. The sounds of crashing and people gasping do not tear my eyes away from hers. She's magnificent, and she's mine. All mine! I bring my mouth to her boobies for a kiss that should have lasted a long time ago. Her arms wrap around my waist as the crowd can barely contain themselves. Lesbians! <laughs> yeah! After a long moment locked with her, we pull away, dust wafting around us from all the damage she just caused. I'm not rich like you. I hope that won't be a problem. I don't care about that. I just want to be with the greatest demon in Twyberg. Oh, I didn't realize it was about that, you fucking racist. racist? I smirk and bring her in for another kiss. 
Rayella is the first to congratulate us, her eyes watering as well. But even her father is accepting of the arrangement. You are a worthy person for my daughter. I will not trust her in anyone else's hands but yours. I pulled him closer to me by the shoulder. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. I can take care of myself too, you know. We all laugh as we <laughs> look at the <laughs> as we look at the damage around the town square. Well, maybe not other persons' things, just myself. She blushes, but she's cute as a button. <laughs> and me, I tap her nose and she laughs. <laughs> and you. I was lucky to be engaged with her because I wanted to hear her laugh for a long, long time. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh my god, that was like the longest, most arduous. Yeah. I want to marry you too. That's why we're engaged. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, really! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Just like in books and fairy tales. So in the month of February, 21 years old, I married Tim. The life of nobility was a difficult one. I could never say the right thing or act the right way, and it was starting to bother Time's parents. <laughs> Tim, Tim, Tim! tried to teach me royal manners, but I could never grasp it. Other nobles started to pressure the Zendors into shunning me because I didn't belong. Tim! Time was so upset that her parents considered it, that she asked me to run away with nice. her. Nice. We left behind all her riches and oppressive nobles to live a more modest life. Tim! Tim me that wealth meant nothing if you were with the person you loved most. That's going to be garbage if you don't sync that exactly right. Yeah. It's just saying, yeah, Tim! Tying in Tim, 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 Tim. We did it! Yay! Yay!